Good morning. Just turning on the Christmas tree lights at work. Is that the right setting? I'm all on my own at the moment in the museum. Where is he? Not creepy at all. <laughs> I have had questions about whether or not it's a bit spooky to be in a museum with statues on my own. No, not really. It feels like a really friendly building. Oh, I've just got my laptop in my office. I'm going to be at the front desk today. I'm going to go and set up here. It's about half past eight. The museum doesn't open until 9.30. Hang on a minute. Let me put this down. Yeah, the museum doesn't open until 9.30, but I'm, I like to get here, get set up. I've got to get it all open as well. Um, so I like to give myself time to do that. Yeah, <laughs> I've come home from work and I've got my mum and my stepmom are both here. <laughs> oh, and Dan. And Vicky. So, yeah, so um, my stepmom Geraldine came to see Lydia's performance today and it's her birthday. Say so happy birthday. Happy birthday, Geraldine. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm 45. <laughs> She's one year younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Bush, younger than me. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's her birthday today. I'm home from work and yeah. I'm going to and, go um, and have a chat and then I'll catch up. Right. I'm in my little spot in front of the lamp. I've just taken my makeup off. I should have kept it on <laughs> for the last bit of the vlog, but never mind. You're all used to seeing me how I look. By the way, look behind the camera. Let me show you what's appeared. Dan has been having fun with his Christmas Lego Brickheads selection. So here we have a Christmas elf. Uh, here we have Rudolph with his, he's got the signpost here to the North Pole and the Lego Land. And look, he's got his post box with letters in it and everything and his bright red nose. And of course, with Rudolph, we have Santa with his sack. Of gifts and the Christmas tree and you can't have Mr Claus without Mrs Claus so she's there she's got her festive cookies and things and she's being very efficient and we've got a nutcracker with his Christmas tree and then we've got another elf looking after them over here so he's been very busy <laughs> So I've set myself up here and I have a highlighter and the radio times. It's, it's time to sit down with a little drinky, go through the radio times and highlight everything I want to watch over the next couple of weeks. And I've also got a new hook. So I was saying that the hook, I think I was saying this on my latest knitting and crochet podcast, which went up last week on my Little Drops of Wonderful channel. I was saying that I'm not enjoying the hook that I'm using, which is just a standard Clover soft touch hook. It feels too short in my hand. Uh, I'm using it for one of my advent wraps. Oh, big van just pulled up outside. 
probably delivering, it's probably Amazon, it's probably me, <laughs> it's probably delivering something to me. <laughs> like another crochet hook. So I've ordered, someone said in the comments over on my other channel, um, treat yourself to a black and gold tulip hook. Now I already have a black and gold tulip hook in a 3.5 or three. Sorry, this is very boring if you're not a crocheter. Um, which Gorgeous Well sent me from the dabbling hook. It's like a Amazon surprise gift. And I love it. I love that hook so much. And so I was like, yeah, do you know what? I'll do that. So I've treated myself to a black and gold tulip hook 3.25 to do my advent wrap. And I know that I'm going to enjoy using that a lot more. So Merry Christmas to me. And now I am going to go and do my highlighting. Actually, it's quite comfortable sitting here. Uh, and that's it. I think we'll keep it short for tonight, for today. I've had enough of me rabbiting the last couple of days. And I'll see you tomorrow for Sunday, the 17th. Of December which is my best friend's birthday happy birthday Caroline uh, well she doesn't watch these we are not watching Strictly tonight because Lilia is that was for me there's a man in a hoodie just walked up my driveway and then there was a clunk hang on a minute let's go and see what it is Set next door's dog off now. Oops. Yeah, that was Amazon. I ordered something yesterday for Lilia. So, shh, secret squirrel. I can't remember what I was saying now, other than it's my best friend's birthday tomorrow. And, oh yes, we're not watching Strictly tonight because Lilia's on her last performance tonight and she won't be home till late. We might start watching it, seeing as Phoebe's off on holidays now and it's Christmas and we're not worrying too much about early bedtimes we might start watching it tonight but we probably won't know who's won until tomorrow night so <laughs> also if you've noticed my arm has anyone spotted the massive bruise on my arm and i went for my blood i went for my blood test on monday or tuesday and it was absolutely fine no problems didn't hurt in and out really quickly i have no idea why i bruised so badly don't i haven't done that in years so it's quite impressive though isn't it there's nothing worse than people showing showing you their injuries, is there? <laughs> Stop talking. See you tomorrow.